The Seam Vision system is an affordable and accurate solution for conventional and automation systems that require non-contact temperature measurements. Its real-time monitoring system immediately identifies thermal problems that would otherwise go undetected. This is ideal for product and process monitoring for quality and reliability assurance. The Seam Vision works by precisely measuring the intensity of the flow of photons from the fabric through the atmosphere to the optics of the detector to actively and accurately monitor a welded seam in real time. After turning on your machine, the first screen you will come across is the operator control screen. On this screen, you'll have four different sets of numbers. The large center number that you see on the screen now is going to be the current temperature that the laser is reading. And below that to your right is going to be your parameters that you have set for your temperature low. To the left of that is your temperature high. And to the left of that is the average temperature that the material has been in the past few seconds. On the operator control screen, there's only one button in the bottom right hand corner. Upon pressing that, it'll bring up the setup screen. In the top left corner of your setup screen, you will see the seam temp average. This shows the average temperature that the seam vision is capturing. To the right of that is the seam temp high alarm. This allows you to create a window that if the seam temp average rises above desired setting, it will trigger the light stack signal or the bell alarm. The high alarm will be adjusted by the operator to desired setting. On the bottom left is your sensor delay. Once the nozzle or wedge swings into position, the sensor delay will delay the seam temp average reading until set point is reached. Sensor delay will be adjusted by operator to desired setting. To the right of that is your seam temp low alarm. This also will allow you to create a window that if the seam temp average falls below the desired setting, it will trigger the light stack signal and or bell alarm. The low alarm will be adjusted by operator to desired setting. The bell alarm button is just an on and off button. When it is green, it is on. When it is gray, it is off. When it is green and you fall below or above the set parameters for the seam temperature, an alarm will go off along with the red light on the stack light. When your data log button is lit up green, you'll be logging data. Below that is your transfer data. When you want to transfer your data, you put in your USB thumb drive and then you will hit transfer data. To the right of that is delete data. So whenever you hit that, it'll delete everything that it's tracked thus far. In the bottom left hand corner of the setup screen, you will find maintenance configuration. And in this screen, it will be for programming use only. To the right of the maintenance configuration button, you'll find a paper icon. Upon clicking that, it'll bring up the recipe. There you'll find your recipe data load, your recipe data edit, and your recipe data save. Along with the recipe that you have saved, your seam temp high alarm, your seam temp low alarm, on your recipe data load screen, you will see 10 different products that you can have saved. Once you click on and highlight whatever product you are about to run, you hit the enter button in the bottom right corner. The next screen we'll be addressing is the recipe data edit screen. On this screen, you'll see 10 different products, all in which you can change the recipes for. Whatever recipe you want to change, you highlight and hit enter. From that point, you will see the high alarm and the low alarm along with their set points. To change this set point, you highlight which alarm you're trying to change, hit enter once again, and this screen will come up. From that point, you will just input the numeric value that you were trying to set as your high or low point, which in this case will drop the temperature down five degrees, and you hit enter. Now it's changed for the high alarm. You can go down to the low alarm, hit enter, and we will go up five degrees and hit enter. From that point to save it, you just hit exit and it will exit the screen and it'll take you back to your recipe screen. The next screen we'll address is the recipe data save screen. Upon clicking on that, you will get the same 10 products back up on the screen. You can scroll through those, click on whatever product you want and that will overwrite whatever data is saved to it to whatever your current alarms are set as. To go to the home screen, you will find a house icon in the bottom right hand corner. This will take you back to your operator control screen. From there, you can go back to your setup screen. 
to the right of the paper icon is your seam temperature. That is going to read your current seam temperature along with a sample rate in which the operator sets. Currently it is reading the past 10 seconds of the weld. To change that, you click on the sample rate icon. From there you can set your sample rate to be higher or lower by inputting that value and hitting enter. From that point on, it will read the past 25 seconds of the seam temperature.